This year marks 75 years since Allied troops liberated the concentration camps of Europe. Among those who, against all the odds, survived these horrors is Sir Ben Helfgott, an awe-inspiring yet unassuming man who has made it his life's work to ensure that the Holocaust is never forgotten. We must never tire in talking about it, however painful it is to us, for the very reason that we owe it to the dead. Despite losing his mother, father and younger sister in the Holocaust, Ben came to England determined to show unyielding strength and resilience. He was more than just a Holocaust survivor. None of us had any education. Ben educated himself. There was something in Ben, this inner determination, that said, I'm going to make a difference. Ben set his sights on becoming a weightlifting champion. And within a few years, he was captain of the British team at the Olympics. Helfgott from Great Britain and Northern Ireland. He presses 242 pounds. Once Ben had convinced himself that he can do it, he gave hope to a lot of us. In 1963, Sir Ben founded the 45 Aid Society, aimed at helping hundreds of Holocaust survivors rebuild their lives. He traveled all over the world to help people. Whether you forgive or you don't forgive, you do not have to go on hating. He did so much for all of us. That the misery, cruelty, despair and injustice that was inflicted on us did not break our spirit. Ben revolutionized Holocaust education, lobbying to be on the curriculum, working with leading figures to make sure this is part of the national conscious. Thanks to Sir Ben and his tireless campaigning, Holocaust Memorial Day is now marked on the 27th of January every year. The world must know that such a thing happened and the world must know that such a tragedy, such a catastrophe must be prevented. A Jewish story is not just a Jewish story. A Jewish story is a story of mankind. Sir Ben and his family have come here to Hyde Park in London to visit the Holocaust Memorial Garden. And I have been given the very great honor of presenting this phenomenal man with a very special award. This is a very exciting moment. I can't believe I'm going to meet Sir Ben and his enormous family. Sir Ben, what a pleasure to meet you. It's my honor to award you the Pride of Britain Lifetime Achievement Award. And if you look behind that rock, you might see a little something for you. I can't think of anyone who is more deserving of this award than you, Sir Ben. It's a great privilege to meet you. Thank you. This memorial garden and so much in Britain that memorializes and remembers and educates about the Holocaust is on account of your extraordinary work over the years. Oh, thank you. Well done.